is up everybody? Okay, so one thing that I am very afraid to admit, but I have admitted to you guys in the past, is that I still have yet to learn how to cook. I am an adult and I don't know how to cook. I can barely boil water. Is it boiling yet? No. I even said it back in my New Year's video uh, that I, that's something I needed to learn. And that was one of my resolutions for this year. So, I'm starting a new video series where I kind of put myself outside of my comfort zone and try things that I normally am not accustomed to. So the first thing is going to be cooking. Yes, I am going to be learning how to cook. And I'm going to do so with the help of some of my friends who have had previous experience with cooking and they're gonna help me out over the course of these next few days in learning how to cook a basic dish. My friend Joan has some experience and they basically said a good one to start with that kind of incorporates a lot of different skills is making pasta from scratch. So I'm gonna be getting help from my friends as well as from Skillshare, which is an online community which offers more than 15,000 classes in design, photo, and more. They offer classes that you can take, projects you can take part in, even teach classes if you want to, and you can tap into it from anywhere, Android, iPhone, whatever, even offline. And membership is as low as $10 per month with unlimited access. So if you're interested in taking any of the classes that Skillshare has to offer, you can either go to this link or you can click the link down in the description to check it out. We're going to begin the journey by learning some basic skills, creating a completely other separate dish. All right, we are in the kitchen. What up? Me and Joan with a knife. Yeah. Try to stay away. <laughs> some of that chopping technique. Let's see what she got. Oh my goodness. I'm so nervous, I'm gonna cut myself. Don't cut yourself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Olives have pits in them. Oh, dude. You should put some deodorant in there. <laughs> this is embarrassingly long how long it's taking me to pit this one olive. Good thing you're Holy doing the smokes. Skillshare thing. Yeah. Maybe they'll upgrade your technique for yeah. how to pit olives. <laughs> that should not have taken that long. That was easier. So now we have to dice up these olives. Yeah, dice them up. Okay. I'm doing it. Let's try. We're both doing a great job dicing these olives. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, good. That's pretty all right. That kind of looks like diced olives, right? Yeah, a little bit. There we go. Okay, so this technique right here. Right? Let's check the technique. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh. It's not working at all. <laughs> oh, it smells really good. Yeah, cilantro's great. This one leaf is not going. All right, but this is actually working. This is a nice little technique here. Did you invent this technique? No, I I'm didn't. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Totally based on observation. Ooh, I know how to use a knife now. This is, this is pretty. That's good, you got it. This is the one thing that my dad actually told me in regards to garlic, so you, to peel them, cutting the ends here, right? Uh, doesn't typically do that. And then you just smash it on the other side. Oh. Well, things are not easily smashable. And see, it came right off there. Hey! hey. hey. And then you chop it up. Oh my goodness, it's already smelling so good. Who the thunk? Garlic smells great. Then came the actual preparation for making the pasta, and it was me, Joan, and Talon. We went out to the store to pick up some necessary supplies. So we're not going to do. We're not making the pasta. Home. We're not doing pasta from scratch. We're going pre made pasta because we're experimenting with yeah. making the whole dish. We're looking for like a protein yeah. to go. I'm in a it. crab fan. I've had like crab and like ramen, but like I've never cooked. Period. <laughs> Crab. Yeah. This series is about branching out. Let's have you branch out. Let's okay. Do scallops. Okay. Do scallops. scallops. Yeah. All right. Lemons. Talon's got the lemons. Okay. <laughs> of course, we can't forget some of the greens. Why do you have pineapple slices? I don't know pineapple. Uh, <laughs> that's that's good enough reason. So we've got some of the parsley being washed. We got some noodles and some red pepper chili flakes. Joan. Hey. We got Talon over there. You look like a chocolate Twinkie. It says heavily salted water. Heavily salted. We're gonna bring that to a boil. We need to thank Binging with Babish. Yes, Binging with Babish for great. setting up the recipe. Is this pot too small? Because I feel like the pasta is growing a lot. Oh, is it? Who's hoping that we didn't add too much pasta to this pot? <laughs> Oh. Talon asks, how do we know when it's done? You gotta either take a piece of pasta and like rinse it off so that's cool and chew on it and see how it feels, or you could like take a piece out and throw it at the wall and if it sticks, it's done. It's good? It's good. Okay. Throw it at the cabinet. Oh, it throw it at the cabinet. <laughs> hey, it's done! It's Get stuck! It. Okay, cool. <laughs> not gonna eat this. <laughs> Half a cup, that's just so much. That is a lot of oil. Oh, that's a lovely sound. Okay. Well, it smells lovely. And then we add the pasta. Oh, the hot oil is getting on my hands! Ah, fork! 
I forgot where the forks are. So the trick is to not panic like we just did. Just a little bit. Boom. Boom. And then we just massage it. We massage the pasta because pasta just needs love. Pasta you can taste love. the love. Can I do that? Can I lift them up? Yeah, lift them up. Lift. Mix that jam. Boom. It's smelling delightful. It's got a little spice. It's got a little lemon. It's got a little garlic. Thomas, I think we did it. We can serve this now to Talon because they don't eat animals. Mm. Is it good? <gasps> These are scallops. They're gonna probably look better cooked. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're just waiting on that to heat up. Ooh, 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 this one's gooey. All right, so this process may be a little messed up now. Only one area of the pan was being heated. Well, these are things we learn. Ooh, yes, Thomas, get it. <laughs> we yes. must suffer for our food. Ow, something got me. <laughs> Keep recording, Talon, we need the shot. I don't know what I'm doing with all these utensils in my hands. <laughs> you look like Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> that looks good and tasty. You're saying it's a little too spicy. Mm. If you like spicy, it's fine. Yeah, that's really good. I really like the scallops. I was surprised. Well, I, I kind of half expected them to just be a little too overcooked. We didn't, I didn't know how long it was supposed to be in there. It was perfect. So that was a lot of fun. I learned some things there for sure, but the next step was actually making the pasta from scratch. We are trying to make the pasta from scratch. Yeah. So one step up on the difficulty scale. <laughs> Doing a more involved sauce this time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A little less spice, a little bit more lemon. A little less lemon. spice for sure. Well, well you just did, you aren't a fan of the spice. No. I'm a weak little baby now. <laughs> one and a third. One and a third. Of this. Okay. We're done. Second. We're done. We cooked. Yeah. This is our <laughs> and then how much of the all-purpose flour? Two thirds. Now half a teaspoon of salt. Ooh. Okay. okay yeah. Now just stir that up. All right. And now you've made your pasta. <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. No. Okay. <laughs> You're going to make it a little bit bowl-shaped so that there's like it's like a nest. Okay. That's good. All right. Egg. Two eggs. Just right in the middle. Right there in the middle. Yes. Boom. Oh, yeah. It looks like one giant egg. One giant egg. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Smash that egg. Three tablespoons of water. Go ahead, pop them. Pop them. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I really hope I'm doing this right. Would your hands be better? Your hands might be better at this point. Look at that. Look what I just did. Yay, it looks it. okay. Kind of a Dover load here. I gotta say it. That's very therapeutic. Oh, that it's looks like I'm good. making a pizza a pie. Making pasta from scratch. Uh, cool. Like that? Is that that thick, you think? I don't know, it depends. We can do it however thick we want. Oh, it smells like pasta. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it looks better than I thought it was gonna look. You thought this was gonna be like a, a train wreck? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this noodle's a little ugly, but that's okay. I used to eat sticks of butter as a kid. Did you really? Mm -hmm. I used to steal them and hide under the table and eat sticks. Wait, wait, wait. Now we're cooking. <laughs> we just had to separate them because we didn't make the dough thin enough this time around. So we had to just kind of like make them a little thinner so they cook through. Looking good, looking good. They look like really long french fries. They do. <laughs> Let's dump that in there. Get in Spit there. it all in the pot. Ooh, they are some pretty Those thick noodles. Are noodles. <laughs> <laughs> They are French fry pretty pasta. solid. <laughs> trying to see if we can make a successful pasta. Because I don't know how the current pasta is going to hold up. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that pasta. Good job. Look at that. We now have Terrence here. Terrence has joined the fray oh, of hello. cooking. So we know now when we're rolling out that dough, make it real thin. Real thin. Yeah. <laughs> don't Wait, burn I, my that's, hands. Not, that's not a good idea. We should pour some in the glass first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Watch Thomas burn himself. <laughs> okay, garlic, onions, basil. I need to see this pasta creation over here. Oh, we have an inch of Raffaella's here now. Raffaella! Hey! We just keep adding more people to the party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. This is technically supposed to be for one person. Making pasta with my friends. Seared to perfection. I think that's seary enough, right? Yeah. The it's finished product right there. <laughs> that's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. It's citrusy. Good? Mm -hmm. Those noodles are thick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's try this. Well, we definitely hit the uh, citrus mm -hmm. big time. Love it! They're definitely still really thick. Yeah. A little ugly, but like... I like it still, though. 
Yeah, that's really good. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so in order to help train myself just a little bit more, I'm gonna go ahead and visit Skillshare. It's this great website that teaches a lot of different vocational things, one of which being uh, chef's guides, knife safety, knife skills, how to plate, you know, kind of the bare essentials for cooking, maybe to get that extra edge, get that extra handle on things. Handle, knife, I don't know. So we figured there has to be some sort of climax to all of this cooking, this new skill that I'm learning, and it was suggested that actually we participate in a little bit of a cooking competition. And we're just gonna see what comes of it. I'm gonna be on my own. It's gonna be an interesting experience. Hello everyone and welcome to Now You're Cooking. I'm your host, Thomas, and tonight I am also a competitor. Competing against me is my once teacher and now nemesis, Joan. Also competing against Against me is someone I've been very excited to work with for the very first time. You may know him from Vine, now he's on YouTube, Drew! Also joining us, the judges for this evening are my friends Taylor, Kate, and Alex. And helping us to capture tonight's events is Talon. You don't have to mention me, I don't really want to- All right, this is a timed competition. Put the timer up on the screen. Does that, does that say 24 hours? No, oh, that's not so bad. Get ready. Get set. Now you're cooking. I can't tear this garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. That is the way to freaking crack an egg, I guess. Not a lot of people know this, but these actually come from chickens. So. Did I do this too incorrectly? Not great. I believe that they are cooking something. The tears forming are not because I started thinking about the end of uh, Marley and me. It's the onions. No, not a lot of people know this, but garlic actually comes from chickens. Oh, look, these two fosses are in love. On your fall ever, <clears throat> fall in love. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> oh my goodness, that literally elicited that much juice. So a key to cooking is maintaining a very clean workspace. God, I messed up my recipe. The judges are gonna take note of that. All right, so now I have to use this stovetop that they have given me. It's uh, gaslit. Really stepping out of my comfort zone. Do a little bit. Okay, that's scary fire. These fellows have some real skill. I can barely even toast toast. My name's Toast. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't spill. I'm not gonna lie, that kinda looks nasty. Listen, it's lemony. Drew. Oh, you're already almost done. Drew, that looks delicioso. You're hyping this up too much, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Look at those curly fingers, Talon. I'm just going to grate this whole thing of cheese. Ah, I cut myself. What? I cut myself. Some slack for not doing exactly what I needed to do, oh, but God. I'm still doing okay. I was supposed to have seven ounces equal parts pasta flour and all-purpose flour. Looks like I have about five ounces of pasta flour. My best friends. Pardon me. Pardon me! Letting it set was a good thing to do. Something I like to do is let olive oil dissolve, and then I just put the pan back when I'm done. What is this guy, a scientist? I'm making one really tiny piece, and the judge that finds it gets $50. Oh. I'm bribing them. No. Now we're cooking. And just in the nick of time. You know, I don't eat a lot of tofu, but it's good. I think I would have used a little bit more spice. Pretty good. Monster. The scallops are really good. Yes? Yes. Oh, very good. This one is much better seasoned. One weird thing about this dish, it's dry and wet at the same time. It's a little lemony, but it is. It is but you get the garlic too. I've, I've never had my food critiqued before, and this is a really genuinely unique and awesome feeling. This one explodes with flavor more than any of the other dishes that I've tried. <laughs> it has a certain sea feel, like bacon that went swimming in the sea. I like this one a lot. So, favorite dish was? Scallops. I like the one with bacon in it. I actually like the first one. The results are in. It's time for the judge's verdict. Joan, your dish was number three. <gasps> what? I actually am surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty surprised too. I had a bite of yours and it was way better than mine. It wasn't what I was expecting. It was a little softer and 
the texture on it was kind of off. The salt completely, in my opinion, overpowered the dish. The dish we selected as the number two was Drew, your tofu dish. The thing that made me put you in the end in second place, the lack of spice and your pasta itself was very tough. I think it, it would flow a lot better if there was like some kind of sauce or something. I've never made that sauce before. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I was expecting. Yeah. So. That means the winner is Thomas. Well, fantastic. Hey, congratulations. Thank you for teaching me. Oh uh, yes, no problem. Oh my goodness. We felt that you had the best dish because your food was not too heavy, not too light. I had a good array of spices. Scallops, being the first time this is the eaten scallops, they were delicious. It wasn't too much, but it wasn't too little. It was just right. Yeah. Cause you got it, buddy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all, I really appreciate it. I would say that we're all winners. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking this film in front of a live studio audience. So that was a lot of fun. I'm really, really excited that um, I made something, but I mean, even winning that, I think that that was all owed to my friends who took the time to help me make those dishes and make them what they were. I owe that all to my friends, like honestly. That was really cool, that's really encouraging, and it really goes to show, like this stuff that I was afraid of doing in the first place, you'll never know how you do until you actually try it. If you have suggestions on anything I need to try and get myself out of my comfort zone, write them down in the comments. Let me know so I can try newer, more extreme things. I don't know. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to my friends, Joan, Talon, and everyone else who helped make this video possible. All of their information is down in the description below. Thank you also to Skillshare for helping me to improve on my culinary expertise. I still have all my fingers, so thank you for that. Skillshare offers a one month free trial, but the first 500 people that click the link down in the description receive two months. If you're interested in my previous videos, click over here. If you're new to the channel, and would like to subscribe, click down here. And if you're interested in becoming a featured fander, click down here. That's it, and until next time, take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace out.